I am here with the legend himself, Paul Sawyer, uh, from Warlord Games, head of design, chief wizard, and master of recipes. Well, that's a, that's an intro. Let's see if I can live up so, to that. So, obviously today, the, cap, the pretty cabinet is largely Epic Pike and Shot is the big news. In that cabinet, yeah. Yep. In that cabinet. Yeah. Um, and so, Epic Pike and Shot, big new, big new development for Warlord. Tell us a little bit about where we are with that. Well, today's the launch day. Yes. So, yeah, we, we wanted to have something big to launch at a bit, the biggest show in the UK. Yeah. Um, so, Pike and Shot. Warlord day, though, second biggest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so lose the second day to Warlord. Wow. Um, so yeah, we've got our big plastic pipe and shot mm. epic battles game on on sale today. Um, so it works for 30 years war and the English Civil War. And uh, you've included the two flag sheets, which is nice. So people yeah, were yeah. like, you don't have to pick. No. You get no. both. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, so if you want to play Imperialist or if you want to play the uh, the, the Alliance, the, I can't even say the word now. Alliance. Alliance. It's, it's not a hard word to say. No. Unless you're me. Um, so, so yeah, that's um, that's the kind of epic pike and shot. And presumably, because that cavalry sprue is really interesting. Yeah. It's one of the things we've been following the epic releases from the, like the... The very first with the get his bugs like this is all the same infantry, mm. and then as we move through the Waterloo, I love the cat, the land vesper. It was like, and these are all the other things we want to include. And I've seen you've done similarly with that Thirty Years War type cavalry sprue. There's a little bit of everything. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously, with Thirty Years War had a lot more cavalry, certainly a lot more in the way of things like cuirassiers. He the heavier. Yeah. For yeah. Uh, than the English Civil War. Yeah. So whilst the, the uniforms are largely the same, the troop types are the same, just some of the, the structure of the armies changed somewhat. Mm. So we wanted to make sure that you got as much variety as you could mm. off the off the bat from the sprue. So the, because of the nature of the, the pike and musket blocks take up a lot of room, you just get that one big block of pikemen with the musket sleeves on the infantry sprue. So really then it was about cramming all the other stuff we could as onto much as onto other. the other sprue. Known as the cavalry sprue, because cavalry makes up the majority of it. In essence it covers light guns, medium guns, and commander shot, dragoons mounted and dismounted. So it's, you know, yeah, that's a hefty, hefty sprue. And presumably each of those elements are never going to merit their own sprue in terms of their production costs. No, I mean, setup costs. I mean, I, ideally from when you're doing plastics, you want to make sure that you get it right first time. Yeah. So a lot of planning goes into what we, what we do and don't make. Yeah. Will we do other versions of those um, in uh, wall dressing? Yeah, quite possibly. Yeah, right. be just because you can get a, 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 a different feel or a different pose. Mm. Uh, and if you're, for instance, you want to field massed units of Karassia, then you either have to hope that you can... Get a lot of boxes. Of, yeah, yeah, or split yeah. with your mates. Yeah. Um, so I would expect us to bring out a, a box set of Karassias. It gives us an opportunity to have different poses that you can't manage in plastic because of the drafting. Right. But being realistic, they're going to have to come out in it Warlord resin or metal or traditional resin. It'll be Warlord resin. It'll be Warlord resin. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, the next thing for um, Packard Shepherd Epic Battles that we're working on in plastic are Scots Covenanters. Oh, you're going to do that? You we've can. Got, we've got right, I, did it, I didn't know that. You've not we've said got, that. You've got 3D answer. prints here. Have you? You've got some 3D Boy, renders. Right? They look like Judge Red to me. The epic Scots. Covenanters. So co the Covenanters are your are your Puritans. Well, or Presbyterians. Well, well, yes. I mean, but they fight on all sides well, because they just want their own way, right? In Scotland. I, I could. Well, much like today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they'll fight for the king if you'll give them their yeah. own prayer book, right? And they'll fight for Cromwell you've, if you'll... You've obviously got the the, the Scots Covenanters, the, the hod and grey, the blue bonnet. Yep. Um, but then also, but ju judicious use of those mixed in with the existing plastics. And a few characters, then you can get Montrose as Scottish Royalists. Yes. So there's a lot of mix and match They've got a there. brighter coat. And the flags and the, the yeah. painting solution. So uh, it allows us to go... B Certainly for the English Civil War, beyond Royalist and Parliamentarian, takes us up into the, the north. And you say, so you're talking about working on a, a to make sure I'm clear, uh, you're working on a Scots hard plastic infantry sprue. Yes. 
currently. Yes. That's in development. All right. I think a lot of people will be. It's like the common third player, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, and and the the unit that looks different to all the other regiments that you've I, got. I mean, I, it's the covenant. I mean, I guess in a in a smaller scale to what we did with uh, Waterloo. It's the Prussians. Right, okay, Everybody yeah. talks about the British and the French. The, yeah. the Prussians were a massive part of right. that battle. Um, so we've, we've, we're following it up with these. And we've got these test prints of the musket sleeves and the frame gun. Uh, Marco here has been working on um, Scots Dragoons to go on the frame as well. So. Right. Are they going to have the famously smaller horses? Yes. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're yeah, gonna make that horses. difference. The ponies. Look a bit more weedy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nice. It sounds great, and this is this is big news. Mm. Uh, we're gonna get a still of this so you can <laughs> see up close. Um, because it's the biggest game that we play, and probably the biggest game that you sell. Ari, can you say, tell me anything about ball action? Yeah. So I mean, um, although we've been talking about this particular cabinet with the, mm. the bike and shot in, over yonder we have oh, yeah. our other cabinet. It's got There's a load of bolt action yeah. So we've got our new plastic M4, yeah. A3, E8, the Easy 8. Easy 8. With an interesting commander figure. Uh, um, uh, yes, it does resemble, if you look closely, um, somebody from a certain movie. Coincidentally. Uh, Turns out. Not that coincidentally, there are decals in it for it as well. <laughs> so right, you, can, okay. you, can, you can feel that particular tank or it's yeah. the, the Matador, which was the second tank in the film as well. Right, oh yeah, nice. Um, nice. And obviously it works well for Korean War as well as late yes. World War II. Yes. Uh, we've got our Italian Alpini, so they're in plastic. So the Italian Alpini are in plastic? In plastic, we've got the plastic so sprue there. third Italian plastic sprue. Absolutely, got. yeah. Skis? No, but it gives you oh. the options for either the helmet with the feather or the, the cap with the feather. Right. The base, the base very much on the, the existing plastic, so similar bodies, but you're more smart. I really thought you were going to give me the ski guy, Paul. <laughs> How is that? You know, I think, I think it, put, putting skis in a plastic sink makes them pretty, okay. pretty okay. niche. Yeah, yeah, I agree. No, you don't want one in six. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's carrying skis. That's not to yeah. say we wouldn't or, wouldn't or aren't doing ski troops or, or troops in more winter gear for the, the Alpini. Yeah. So much like we did with the Bersaglieri, which we did with the uh, the army yeah. in black shirts, we've layered on a lot more in, in metal and wool or resin. Right. So Andres has been painting some of the Alpini today. We've got painted examples and the sprue in the cabinet. Nice. Right. And so what, what kind of release date for that, uh, then, you think? I mean, people are going to want it. This year. This year? All right, yeah. this year. You can yeah, yeah, say that in April. Year. It yeah. will be this year. Yeah. Um, off the top of my head, I think, but it is off the top of my head, I think the Alpini are going to be around about the August mark. Oh, right. Yeah, so not, well, not the right. back end of the year, yeah. but I, I, I can't say for absolutely certain without... My memory's going... No, 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 no. And you, and you don't want to appear to be committing to any of this yeah. either, right? It's good. Look, I'm, there's so much been coming out of the company. I've been, I've been really excited about it. Um, the bolt action stuff... The Italian stuff has knocked me away, to be honest. You know, doing one Italian sprue surprise me doing three different ones um yeah just just astonishing italian campaigning i like the stalingrad campaign and they're involved there so i'll be looking forward to that paul sawyer thank you for your time no it's been problem. a real pleasure cheers thank you bye bye